Hello and welcome back to another SMC mini panel instructional video. Today we're going to be talking about the LEM compact slider type electric actuator with programless LECP2 controller. For this mini panel you will need a 110 volt outlet, a small precision flathead screwdriver, and some arrow stickers. My mini panel came with a small precision screwdriver and a Ziploc bag on the back. I made some small stickers with arrows on them using a pen and some post-it notes. These will come in handy for demonstrating how to program the LECP2. The LEM is a compact, low-profile, slider-type electric actuator. It comes in two sizes, as well as has four different guide types for various loads and speeds. The LECP2 is a programless type controller with end-to-end -end operation, similar to an air cylinder, it also has stroke study which allows you to easily set the endpoints of the actuator. Now let's see how easy it is to program the end of strokes on this actuator using the LECP2. First we turn the power to the panel on and then slide the cover on the mode switch up to give us access. Then we slide the switch up to the manual position marked by M. Now we turn the dip switch until the display shows F. Now we hold down the set button for a couple seconds and the actuator will move and learn its end positions. Now we move the mode switch back to A for automatic. We push the start switch and see the actuator move through its three set positions. These three positions are controlled by a sequencer on the back of the panel making two different switches, as you can see in the above graphic. Now let's take a look at what it takes to program the intermediate position. I put some stickers on the actuator so you can tell what position it is and later what position we want to move to. With the actuator running, you can see in the third position, or intermediate position, it the arrows on the stickers line up pretty good. I push the stop button and then switch it back to the manual mode and then change the position setting switch to 3. Once it's in position 3 you push the set switch temporarily and it moves the actuator to the third position. Now I'm going to move the top sticker to give us a new target for the third or intermediate position. Once I move the sticker, I hold down the set key until the three starts to blink. Now I use the jog buttons to adjust the position of the actuator until the arrows are lined up. Once you're satisfied with the third positioning of the actuator, you hold down the set key again until the three stops blinking. Notice when you let go of the set key, the three will blink faster than before. So you can push the set key again and it'll stop blinking. Now the third position is set. Let's check it by setting it back to automatic mode and pushing the start button. You can see that the arrows now line up in the new position just right. The LECP2 also offers a direct teaching setup where you move the actuator manually into position for intermediate steps. Let's take a look at that. With the actuator stopped, I've moved the mode switch back to manual. Now I move my sticker to a new position. This will be our next target intermediate point. With the position switch set to 3 on the display, push the set button. That will return the actuator to the previously programmed intermediate position. Then hold the set button down until the 3 starts to blink. Now hold both the manual keys down at the same time until the power light starts to blink. Now you can manually move the actuator table into position. Once it's in position, hold down the set key until the three stops blinking. 
notice the power light is still blinking. So you need to hold down both the jog keys at the same time until the power light stops blinking. Now the third position is set and you can switch it back to automatic and start the actuator's movement. And that's how you program using the direct teaching function of the LECP2. Those same steps can be used to program all 12 of the intermediate positions. Just realize that positions 10 through 14 are represented by A through E respectively on the display. Please remember to turn the power switch off when you're done presenting the panel. Thank you for tuning in for this SMC mini panel instructional video.